You sold me bad fish, you butt. There he is. Let's go try to tell him. I don't I don't want to like get him arrested. Ask what he needs, okay. Tell me straight, Carl. Did you receive an assignment to spy on me? Tell him the truth. You must be more careful, Comrade Klaus. I'll get right to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the building. What? They want to evict me from my apartment. That's unthinkable. If I could, I would have left this pokey hole a long time ago. Well, my problem shouldn't bother you. Thanks for the warning. What are you going to do? Uh, offer help? I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? Insist on talking. I'm not asking out of curiosity. I want to help you. I'm being hunted. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop, the tiny wooden booth near the fish market. Took my absentee certificate. Without it, I'm stuck here. You understand. What's an absentee certificate? You should know such things, Carl. This is a document you need to either enter the strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway stations, ports, and roads with checkpoints are all closed to me. Why don't you take it? You won't believe me. I received a response from the Ministry. The documents were sent to the archives for the data update. They said I could obtain them there. I went to the archives. They said there are no documents left. I spent a week in line to see an inspector about submitting a detection application. Two months later, I was told I'd used the wrong form for my application and they were out of the one I needed. Damn it. You mean the documents are lost in the archives? Yes, the documents are in the archive. They say it's a ploy to drive visitors crazy. Don't know if that's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There's nothing we can do about the archives. Hmm. Let's see what I can do about your absentee certificate. Well, doesn't the one guy work in the archives? Obtain Shimmer's papers from the archive. A new... Uh-oh. You saw nothing! <laughs> uh, okay, what now? Imported soda is prohibited. Oh, wait, there he went. We'll look at those in a minute. Wait. I might need your help, dude. Oh, I have a while before I have to do this. 200 and some hours. Which is good, because I might actually need it. Oh, he went to bed? I need to talk to your husbando. I don't know how else I would get those papers. I guess I can talk to her about the canned food. Do you need imported canned food? It's really tasty. 50 cans for $4,000. Oh, oh, so once we have a bad, just bones in water. Yours was still like hotcakes in our dining hall. Sweet. You're just in time, dear. We ran out of provisions. Give me the cans and I'll get the money from my boss and bring it to you. Cool. Oh, the door closed on you. I guess I have to wait for her to get the money first. Oh, there we go. Wait, where's she going? Oh, I think she's going out here to get money. Is she gonna sell them to him? No? Maybe he'll sell me the papers. <laughs> Wow, you can buy apples, which are illegal. Um, I think I'm gonna buy a piece of candy. And then give it to my daughter. I just feel like that would be a nice thing to do. Uh, I don't know how to get your papers, bro. I gotta talk to that guy, I think. How do I- can I not give it to her? My husband is feeling down these days. I hope he hasn't offended you. Frighten her. Offer your sympathy. What happened to your husband? It's not like he's standing right there. He has troubles at work. He's done nothing wrong, but the state always suspects him of doing horrible things. I think they can't forgive us for being wealthy once. This apartment once belonged to us. We threw wonderful parties featuring music and poetry. Why doesn't Klaus change jobs? One cannot change one's job without the approval of the Ministry of Distribution. You know this. 
Klaus doesn't have an absentee certificate. Can you imagine? Otherwise, we'd already have left. You'd better talk to Klaus about this. How do I get your thing, dude? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can give her the chocolates. Also, learn about what happened? Okay, what happened? What happened? Martha is sick, Carl, and we have no medicine at home. Can you find some aspirin for our girl? I waited in line forever, only to find out I needed a prescription. Of course, I'll find him. Do you have any news about Martha? No, it's just a fever, but I don't like how she feels. Well, I'll give her the ch chocolates. Oh my god, she's just- are you alright? Ma'am? <sighs> Here. I talked with our neighbors, Carl. They're really nice. I was told a man in a top hat walks near the house occasionally. You can buy things from him. What things? Antiques? Don't you have enough things? Listen to me first. You never listen to what I tell you. Don't get so steamed. I don't want to offend you. You're the master of bringing people down. Sometimes I think I live with... What did you say about the trader? They say he's selling new household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me the perfumed soap she bought from him last month. I don't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at our other useful items. Oh, can I sell some of the stuff that we have? Do you need soap? We have an entire box of coal tar soap I bought with our ration cards. You're unbearable, Carl. A rope around your neck would serve you well. Go meet him and buy sweets for Martha. The poor thing hasn't had a treat for months. I already... I already did that on my own. I didn't even need you to tell me to do it. Look, I already have these for you. Ask about the candy. Your mom asked me to buy you some sweets. No, I did that on my own. She says she's never eaten anything like this before. I'm waiting for you to buy them. Mommy will give me one each time I have tea. Okay. How, how do you feel? How are you? Mom says I feel sick. I don't want sweets. I have a fever. Will you buy me some aspirin and I'll be healthy again? Let it be so. Okay, so I can't give her the sweets until I buy aspirin from the weird man that chills outside the apartment. And I only have 30 hours to do that. I should buy some candy for my wife. I already did that. I love how it's like she deserves a treat, but then he's such a jerk to her. Like, they just fight. Are you people home? No. Okay, here's... finally. Here's the guy. Wait. Hey, um... Talk about how to help Shimmer. Do you work in the archives, old man? What's it to you? You know this even without me! I need your help. One good man can't obtain a document from the archives. Who are you talking about? Documents of good people aren't taken to the archives. Don't feed me a line. Tell the true story or talk about a side issue. I don't trust this dude. Talk about a side issue. What's it to you, old man? Are you crazy? Do you think I'll risk my life for every turncoat? What risk are you talking about? Find one lost document, an absentee certificate. Find a document, okay. Remember, I'm not doing this for you, but to, but to protect the reputation of the archives. Losing even a single document would be bad. Make $1,000 to the boss to gain access to the papers. Buy Shimmer's papers from Rennick. Okay, I will. Okay, I'll give you- here's... Trade? Trade. I could trade him something. What does he like? Do I know anything about him? He likes to fish. I might just have to give him the money. I guess I'll give him the money. Alright, come back later. Okay. I gotta wait for that guy. New message? What do you mean new message? Oh, it's in there. Okay. I was like, what do you mean? On the phone? No. Daily news, food poisoning. An unfortunate gastronomical incident took place yesterday in, in coal mine number 29. 
Following lunch at the local dining hall, an entire shift of workers came down food poisoning. The exact reason is unknown, although all of them ate the fish soup. Investigators have established that Rosa Rennick, the cook, was in charge of preparing and serving the soup, and they are questioning our oh geez. We should also note that the iron will of the workers, who despite great pains and a terrible fever, returned to work, realizing how much the state needs them in this time of war. Well, that's bad. You sold me bad fish, you butt. Where'd you go? Um, break down your door. Sell me bad fish. A new government directive. Illegal to possess foreign music? Okay. Get your butt over here, sir. You sold me bad fish. I seriously can't even ask him about it? That's stupid. Ooh, here he is. Hello. Give me the papers. Canned food was shit. Everyone in the dining hall where my wife works ended up with food poisoning. I'm building a case. She could be sent to jail because of you. Flip off. Accuse the bosun. I don't know who that is. The bosun. Keep the matter quiet, which would take some of my reputation points. I have a lot, though. Or I could pay. I'm not paying. I don't have enough money. Flip off. Accuse the bosun. It wasn't me. The bosun gave them to me. Deal with him. You bugger, the canned food must have been stolen. Your seahorse will get what it deserves. What? Oh, seahorse. He must be talking about that guy. Okay. Well, he is the one who sold it to me. I did try to confront him. Oh my gosh, he just like went into his house. I should be- Oh. Uh. So, it's probably fine. Did he just beat the crap out of him? Okay. Well. I'm gonna guess that he did. Okay, I need to buy aspirin, though. Aspirin, a bottle of pills. Whew. Expensive, but it needs to happen. Can we talk to you now? After you just got your ass handed to you? Nope. I guess that just happened. <laughs> okay. Alright, I need to go do this, like, now. Hey, I have your aspirin. I have your medicine. I did get you- I have aspirin. Do I have to give them to her? Mm -hmm. I have aspirin. Take this. I hope this is just the flu. Everyone is sick these days. Thank you. I think she'll feel better for a couple of days. Okay, good. Jeez. Okay, so I guess mm -hmm. I can give her the sweets now, maybe? Are you once again not satisfied with anything? I just asked you to buy chocolate for our little one, but I... I didn't even ask for a bar of strawberry perfumed soap for myself. I bought sweets, but they didn't have the soap you wanted. You bought sweets, Carl. Thank you. I'm full of worry these days. When I close my eyes, I can see those bulls leading the previous building manager out by the nose. It breaks my heart to think of you being in his place. Anna, purge these thoughts from your mind. I'll be fine. You're not being silly, right? I'll do a good job. What if the previous manager had thought like this, too? Well, it's time to go back to work. Okay. A new government directive. It is legal to cry or for more than three people to assemble outside of the main square. What? Uh, learn about what happened? Oh. Martha feels worse, Carl. The aspirin didn't help. She needs a doctor. Find a doctor. Don't you want to take Martha to the doctor? We visited her doctor already. He said to give her aspirin and clean her nose with dish soap. With soap, Carl. How can I clean a kid's nose with soap? Find a good doctor for our daughter. Okay, I'll just do that. Yes, father. I need to talk to you, father. What happened? 
I met a nice girl and I want to ask her out. First night of the Lights of Hope will take place in a couple of days. Actors from the Capitol arrive too. Wait, who's that girl? Andrea Gorchik. She's beautiful and smart. She likes going to the theaters. I heard she wants to go to the opening night. This is my chance, father. I don't have enough money for the tickets. How much? $550. That is big money. Postpone decision. Let's return to this question later. I have a lot to do now. Huh. Uh oh. I gotta go talk to her about the bad fish. Whoa! That was crazy fast there, Carl. How did the situation with the canned food end? They kept the matter quiet. Turns out that it was more than canned food. The herring was rotten, too. Supervisor was responsible for the herring. She was sent to jail. All right. Could have been worse. There we go. There he is. Give me the papers, dude. Yes. Got the paper. Thank you. Okay. So I should be able to give these to Klaus. If he's home. Oh, I have to talk to you too? That damned old man attacked me, you bugger. You started the circus. Swindled me out of my money and gave me away to this old man. Teach you a lesson. Nobody throws Jonas Papanato, bugger. Are you really going to try to fight me right now? Uh So die like you mean it. Well, it rained the day of Carl's funeral. The cheap pine wood coffin was covered with rocky soil as the bleak autumn sun lumbered across the sky. What the hell? A thin fog settled over the cemetery. No one from Carl Stein's family was destined to leave to the end of the year. What? 